we have in the big bag a few of these basic little um, bubble wrap envelopes to have a look at today. So that's the bag. So just the normal garbage bags have been all delivered in today and we've got from the sort of paper to the plasticky like envelopes. So I'm not 100% sure which one is in which box, so we'll just discover them together. So just being careful to snip these packaging open. I always try and get as close to the edge as I can so then I can actually see that canvas. And I have snipped one here and there in the past, so I do try to be very careful and open these things. As I think we all do. So we'll just mosey them on over there and we'll get to those. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What have we got here? Oh, this is going to be nice. I'm excited already. So, what I can see from this canvas rem tells me where I've got these from. We have got a 40 by 30 size diamond painting. Sealed in a basic plastic uh, envelope. Let's just go with that. That can come on out of there, can it? It's got a clear covering on this piece, so that means maybe not that many. There are the drills. The uh, round drills, I should say, and we have a basic green boat kit with a couple of baggies in the back. Not going to open that. We've all been down that road. Okay. So as you can see, it's quite bent and crumpled up. This canvas, so it's going to need to sit in flat and down under some heavy things. It's got that. Stiffness, that bit, that papery, yeah, okay. We've all been there, we've all got canvases like that. But still look pretty though. She's, she is gonna be, I'm really liking this already. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah, you've got a really large, <laughs> large key down the side, very basic, um, 1 to 25, so you get 25 colours and some pretty pretty good symbols etc in there. Some letters, numbers and a few symbols. Nothing that looks too much like the other, so hopefully that will make it a lot easier. I'm just going to peel back this cover. Not quite all the way off because I do want to put it back on. Ooh, that is very sticky, that glue on there is very sticky, which is a good thing. So, yeah, symbols are nice and clear. I'm just going to, I'll be right back. Back, and she's straightened out now. Look at that, much more flatter. Ta-da! Um, so yes, these are from New Frog. This one was approximately $9.20 at the time of purchase. So probably, you know, a bit more than some of the paintings I pay for. But I thought that would come up quite pretty. I think your eyes are going to be interesting. But And there's a lot of confetti in this image. But when you look up in the screen, it's, it looks really cool. So... Hopefully um, it looks that good once it's finished and it's hanged on the wall. Um, having said that, the symbols on here are, you know, they're quite clearly printed. They're, you know, in the dark colours are using white and coloured areas are using dark inks. I would say the symbols were, you know, not too unified so you don't get too many areas that could be problematic. Um, let's give a closer look, you guys there at the symbols there. 
and you see it's it's one of those plates it's a lot of shading it's going to be a bit confetti I don't really like confetti but sometimes that's what you have to have I'm stop shading myself that would be awesome but yeah here's the viewfinder as I say it looks kind of cool free shipping yeah, I love free shipping took the approximate three weeks or so been having the free shipping. Now for the drills themselves. Um, these are round drills. I ain't going to get into them too much. They're all little separate bags as such. Has a little number on there for you to work with from your code number on your canvas and they obviously a range of reds and so forth and oranges etc um, so they're all individual little non-resealable bags so you'll have to have another sort of container I suppose or just use all that same one colour however you work so everyone has their own system the uh, no inventory sheet or so, so no no nothing like that to go work by so hopefully everything's here you know if this was your first diamond painting it might be a bit like eh what do I do because there's no instructions etc much there um, if this was say a first diamond art for you it could be a little bit questionable so to speak. But I'm not going to go through all those colours, but they are pretty. No, so I've got a few other things to go through today. But there we are. So that's the fairy girl. I'm going to open another one of the same order, by the way. This is all from the same place. Again, with the little. Maybe just open it first. Um, what have we got in here? What do you call it? Some sort of bag. You see, it's very folded. That's flat as a pancake. So that's going to take a bit to settle down again. But this is going to be kind of cool, this piece, so hopefully it all works out. Uh, again, just a basic green boat standard kit. Nothing exciting about that. Canvas is stiff, like it's, it's clean and whatnot, and you know, not cut too jaggedly, but well, there she is. Isn't she a doozy? So it is another full drill. Um, it's that more that pop art, you know, um, comic book style paintings, which I thought would come up really nice in a dot in in the diamond art sort of thing with a dot style. Um, it only has ten colours to work from in this one. Um, and I think on that key there, you can sort of see, again, no inventory type of sheet, no sheet or whatever. So we're just working from the canvas here. And you have um, numbers, symbols, and I believe it's DMCs. I don't know my channel. So it's got the clear contact type thing on top. This one does have instructions on the bottom, so, which is, and colored pictures. But I tell you what, you need a good set of eyes to read that, wouldn't you? And again, you've got another code on that side. And the image to guide you at the top right corner. So I'm just going to gently try and take this back a little bit. Nice and a square. Don't see 
leave that as that for the moment. I said I'll have to probably do a bit of mucking around to get this one to lie down a bit flatter before I do it. But it's uh, 30 by 30, I think, this one. I'll just check that. Hang on. Canvas of 30 by 30 and a point drill of approximately 24 by 24. That one. 30 by 30 canvas by approximately 24 by 24. Picture. I think it's going to look kind of cool once it's done. that a little bit more yeah nothing a couple of there you go um yes the symbols and so forth are really well printed colors are nice and vibrant so come underneath the drills so we'll have those uh, this is a little bit different type of um, non-resealable drill packs And it's got that little sort of pattern around the edge there, the drill packets. And each pack will have, um, well, the first two are number ones. So that's good old 310, you know that, don't you? Anyway, so that's moving on. And then number two moving through each colour having each bag. There's some of the colours there. All round beads for this one. Very small amount of the blue and red there, and some white. So yeah, ten different colours there, all your non-resealable bags. So you'll have to have some sort of storage working containers for those. That one. Right, and so it was only the new frog one that was that at the time. So about seven dollars sixty. So now the third one here, I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get out of this lot yet. But it comes again in one of those little bubble wrap envelopes. We go with bubble wrap envelopes, shall we? Again, same order, same order time. Very small. Has one of those clear little plastic envelopes to keep it all together. And somewhere is the end. So you can see it's, that's really got some good fold going on there. That's okay. Let's see what about. I'm not going to be putting it back into that packaging anyway, so it really doesn't matter if I rip it or whatever. Okay, so this one is a 30 by 25 centimeter. Okay, it's a little bit smallish and different and there they are. Cute little raccoons. Foxes they say. These are foxes. They're supposed to be foxes. They look a bit like raccoons to me. Foxes? Raccoons? Hmm? I don't think either species comes in those colours anyway so it doesn't really matter. Now you've got your same it's your product key and number and so forth up this whole idea. We have a very, very basic number code, number for number and so forth until we run out of numbers. We start to set a few letters. Here on the bottom, you have instructions there. There's on the instructions on the canvas. A fairly common trait if you don't have your instructions slash sheet. Another inventory down the other side, so um, key, sorry. Down the other side, canvas is uh, clean, okay sort of canvas, nothing exciting. The drill area 
is quite sticky. So this is actually just, a, it's a small piece, it's actually a partial as well. Um, all that white area is not, um, not sticky, it's not beatable. Guys, um, that's a bit better. You can see the little symbols there and the sort of gaps and so forth. They're still nice and clear and easy to read. This one is what they have as special drill. Um, come with a basic kit, by the way, and just a few. There are your drills. So you haven't seen these, these are what you call um, you type in special shape or even special diamond painting, you often can find these sort of drill type paintings and they come in the non-resealable um, you know, whatever these little bags are called. These are quite popular and a lot of people like working from them honestly because they have the number and usually you know that sort of DMC numbers and other things are printed on these as a rule to follow it by. I'm just gonna flip that over there for you and you can just sort of see for yourself the cut different colours there. It's obviously gonna be each of those the raccoon. I'm going with raccoon. Um, you got the orangey one with his yellows and browns and so forth and whatnot. And then of course you've got these sort of blues and purples for the other little fella. And they are sort of metallic back. We've got the, you can see that silver backing and that gives them that different colour, that shine. Um, all of them but of course the black uh, that special bead, just the back of me. And it says 12 colours for this one. So these are good for that. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that one up there. I think it was. Um, what did I, did I tell you the price of the other one? It was approximately at $5 for the raccoons, by the way. So that's your name. Um, so, we okay, might as well open this one. Again, it's really flat and whatnot. I don't know. It's a lot bigger piece, this one. Canvas feels like, you know, it's, it's smooth, but it's still quite stiff. Again, basic kit to get you started. And that one there is the fourth piece. Ta-da! Now that's really lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. Beautiful, vibrant sort of looking um, colours there. 21 colours to be exact. Um, so you've got your, again, no sheets for these. These are just all as they are, basic kits, so to speak. Uh, you've got a number and code. So 21 colours and your good old, good old fashioned numbers and lettering system to follow which is nice and simple. There's some of the print of the actual symbols. And as you have a look through it, it's not too bad. It's not going to be, it's going to be fairly good chunks of colour. That'll be a lot easier to do. A lot of jargon down the side there. What is all that crap about? Don't know, don't know Chinese. So yeah, just another clear covering on this one. It's nice and it is very, it's, it's got good adhesive on that one as well. So that's good. You want your beads to stick. That's the point. We don't 
really want them to come off. Now, the one thing I do like about these clear toppers is that you, know, you don't really need to do the peel back to see what the image is doing underneath. But there you go, there's nice. That's just what the canvas is like underneath that clear wrap. Just the blue. See if I can get this one on here first go. <laughs> This is called the creeping technique. Okay, I'm just making things up now. Aren't I? Just trying not to get that. But yeah, the the glue is good. It's, there's no obvious like scarring lines or. So yeah, so we've got the iris. The flowers there, the iris flowers. Again, same seller, same order. Um, I think they're about $13, $14 or something like that. But yeah, so it's a 35 by 45 canvas, so I'll say a 30 by 40 actual picture. So that looks pretty groovy. Lots of nice colours in that one, which we'll have a look at. Again, it's in a round drill. So again, this is a different, this one's coming in a different kind of pack, like same sort of kind of packaging, but there's print on there, so obviously it's a different maker of drills, etc. So these ones have got like the little, how it actually shows it, PJ written on the back there. Um, and you've got your numbers, beads, 21, oh gosh, I hope that's. Oh, there's 21. <laughs> I got worried there for a minute. Um, they <laughs> went down the 20. Oh, just so 21. Cool. So, yeah, we have got some really banging oranges and yellows going on there. We've got some hot pink. We've got blues and purples. Purple. You can see that PJ on that one, can you? Yeah. Not the shine, but it's dang hard sometimes, at times of day and night in here. See, there you go. Have a look through all the. There's quite a good range of different colours, so if you like vibrant and bright and whatnot, there you go. So they look really quite nice and neat, not too much. Junk, but again, as you say, until you start working on this looking a bit finer, you never know. But the drills do look really nice and clean, neat. Canvas is looking good, no major issues there straight away. Pretty happy days for the, the, the pieces I've got from um, New Frog there. Again, wasn't too bad. A couple of weeks for shipping. Something, whatever it was, about, you know, up to 30 days, if you can say, something like that. Um, I suppose with these ones, you know, the way they are uh, packaged, it does affect the canvas somewhat. So if you want to work on this straight away, it's going to be a bit of a bummer. But um, yeah, you can either just pop them under some heavy books, etc., help flatten out those bits, and they will come up for a little treat. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed that um, bagging. We'll go with unbagging. Of those pieces today um, I know they're a little bit different more unique in a lot of ways what do you like the best do you think that the full drills or you like the special um, so all I can say is thank you very much for spending the time looking through these with me today I do appreciate people's time um, to stop and watch the videos subscriber more and uh, put more on order so more are going to be on view 
thanks so very much for watching guys like comment and subscribe for more thank you very much for watching bye bye stay your life beautiful beep, 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 beep.